Hello. In this video, I'm going to do a naval match of Zero AD's Empire's Ascendant. So I'm going to go to single player, matches, and then map filter, naval maps. And then I'm going to do this one, but you can see there are several other options. And I have the um, AIs set to easy. Um, actually, I'll set them to medium. Uh, and then civilization to random. DST, Brasso, DST, Brasso. DST, Brasso. DST. Rejo. Um, so the green guy is the one that's on my side of the river, so I'm going to try to ally with him. Okay. And then propose being neutral with these guys. Okay, sweet. So the general strategy of this game um, is you just want to increase your population exponentially. Um, so the most import important resources are the food and the wood, which you need to build new units, and then you need wood also to build houses, um, which the houses control your population cap. So these guys are collecting food, and um, I'll have some. These guys are collecting uh, wood. DSD. Yes, see? Yes, 
So you can use this button here to find yeah, idle see? workers. So this guy isn't doing anything. So I can have him get the pigs. Yeah, see? Great. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, see? So, I'm going to build a wall here to block this entrance, and then I want to build one here eventually too, and then I can continue all the way around here uh, to protect me from the guy over there. Um, and in this game you benefit a lot from the walls, both, both because you can um, put towers behind them to shoot at them, um, so it's expensive for them to just hang out near the walls. And then often if they attack you, um, if you have good walls, you can just kind of ignore them and have your guys keep working while um, their guys are kind of wasting their time walking all the way over here and then not being very effective. Because like I was saying earlier, the main strategy is you just kind of need to keep the exponential growth going. Um, because if you just are bigger than them and have more guys, then uh, it's pretty easy to win in the later game. Yes, yeah, Steve? Yes, Rasso. Yes, Rasso. Rasso. Yes, Yes, 
yeah, see? Okay, so I'm uh, expanding my wall here to have these uh, stone mines on the inside of the wall, and then, oh, there we go. Yes, see? Drop. 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 Ah, so I didn't build the wall in time. Yes, see? Yes, see? Drop. Yes, see? Drop. Um, and then for the... Battles, you generally benefit from having a lot of your guys versus a small number of their guys. And uh, this uh, main base can shoot too, so just kind of forcing them to fight next to it goes a long way. But it looks like his attack failed. Yes, see? Right. Yes, see? Yes, see? Rato. Yes, see? Uh, and these uh, towers are by far the best way to uh, defend yourself. They're pretty much impossible to take out until um, they get uh, battering rams later in the game. Yes, see? 
DSD? DSD? Um, but you can build the towers in the uh, town phase, but you can't build the batting rams until the city phase. So it effectively means at this stage it's just really hard both to uh, attack or be attacked DSD? when you both have these stone towers. Okay. being allies with this guy. Um, so my main issue is green. Um, I can actually do that. So I'm allies with yellow, uh, and mainly fighting green. DSD? DSD? Russell. DSD? Russell. DSD? See, the tower's helping me a lot, because uh, he can't just rush in here. Yes, and uh, I'm doing a lot of damage to him with the towers without him really doing any back. Yes, Yes, 
Um, nice. Uh, so I'm not going to counterattack because he probably has these towers too. Um, I think I can see one here. Um, so I think it's going to uh, would do a lot of damage to me. Um, and I like, like to leave one guy in the tower, um, because otherwise they can uh, capture your tower without destroying it. Um, but I only uh, want more guys in the tower when there's a uh, actual battle happening, because otherwise you're, uh, they're not working. Yes, 
So I'd really like to fight them right under my uh my towers. So I'm definitely losing the green right now. Um, he has city phase. Uh, so yes, to get city phase, I need to build more town structures. So this counts. And markets count. So I want to build the second civic center too, right before I get to city phase. Yes, 
prosto. Yes, see? This is my ally. Yes, see? Uh, not much space left for me, though. Prato. Prato. Okay, so I've, uh, I've helped this guy out a lot, so hopefully he can help me with green. Yes, see? And I'll send these guys Prato. to this side. Kind of boxed in this corner here. DSD? DSD? Rosso. DSD? Rosso. Rosso. Yes, see? Rejo. Yes, see? Prato. Yes, see? Prato. I still can't get the, uh, yeah, see? the, um, battering rams because I'm not city phase. Yeah, see? Yes, see? 
Yeah, see? Threat. 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 Yeah, see? Threat. Threat. Yes, see? 
Yes, yeah, see? Yes, see? Rocco. Rocco. Yes, see? Um, okay, so green definitely beat me in the um, expansion game, um, so I'm playing very defensive right now. I'm just going to hang, hang back behind my towers, um, and then I'm trying to build a... Um, some battering rams, and then I'm gonna try to take out this civic center, maybe some of these towers, yes, to see? give myself some breathing room. Rato. Yes, see? Rato. 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 I'll try to distract him over Rato. here to make him think the attack's coming from this direction and then attack through here. Yes, see? Rato. Yes, see? Rato. Request my ally attack screen too. Okay. 
idea, see? Yes, see? Grasso, grasso. Nice having yellow here too, because he help, he's helped make it screen. Yes, So I'm at the population cap, so I might just as well keep up the uh, the fight against uh, green. Yes, Yeah, so I've, I've pretty much beaten green here, um, so that was huge. And I captured this civic center, this tower. DSD? Maybe able to get this one too. Green has been defeated, so for me and yellow to win, we just need to take out red now. Um, so I'll consolidate control of this area and then uh, start sending ships to attack red. DSD? Yes, 
Oh, so we still got this. DST? Prato. Sì, pronto. So I'm at the population cap, so I can't build uh, boats, they're just waiting. Yes, see? Yes, see? Yes, see?
idea, so see? Let's go attack red. I'm not even sure where he is. Prato. Yes, see? Prato. Yes, see? Yes, see? Prato. Yes, see? Prato. Yes, see? Prato. 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 Trying to attack red. Yes, see? Russell. So maybe red's in this corner, uh, or it could be over here. Yes, see? Yes, see? Rato. So looks like we've pretty much already won. Okay, so his army is just sitting here. Wait, where's Red? Yes, see? Prato. Prato. Yes, see? Prato. Yes, see? Prato. Yes, um, okay, so I think I'm just going to call it. We, we won this one. Um, sweet. So... Me and Yellow took over the whole map. Um, so interesting, I kind of thought I was losing to green here, uh, but I really pulled away from the start. Uh, so I'm going to play the replay now. Uh, I may not finish all of it.
Okay, so here's me. Here's green. Here's yellow. Who I al ally with early. And then red. Zero AD also runs pretty well on um, on mediocre hardware. So as you can see here, I'm on a Dell Latitude 5490, which is a like three, four year old laptop, um, and it does get laggy. You'll notice uh, when you have like all 300 of your guys that it has to simulate, um, but for the most part, the game's totally playable. And um, I really should try it on a on a higher powered PC. Yes, see? I'll slow this down when he attacks so I can uh, see that at normal speed. Oh, this is where green attacked. 
Let's see, I had got my walls up. I think I did pretty well defending this just by kind of delaying him, and then I tried to fight where I could shoot him with my arrows from here. Follow me here, and then, uh... Yeah, they get shot with the arrows. I think because he built towers, like, right here, pretty early on, I thought he was, uh, beating me. Uh, but probably after this attack, I was beating Green the whole time. Red's attack also failed. Okay, so this is where I allied with yellow. I sent him a lot of resources too, but it ended up helping, because uh, he helped me win here, and then by the time I was over there, he had already finished red off. I wonder how much I helped yellow beat red, because it looked pretty close at this point. If anything, Red maybe seems to be winning. Okay, so he's preparing an attack. Yeah, and I noticed this was broken here, so they could just walk right through. Um, so I think I quickly got this guy over to fix it. And then, yeah, they can come right up here, but that's why I built these. Um, so I could get kind of a continuous wall where they have to either go through it or kind of all the way around and hit my towers. So 
the towers shoot faster if you have more guys in it. So I think I'm trying to get guys over here to get in the towers. Yeah. They destroyed the wrong one. Alright, so they're still not through my wall. Yeah, this is my preferred strategy for dealing with attacks. Because my guys are still working productively in here. While I'm just, like, gradually wearing them down and sniping them with my towers. And then, uh... I kind of tactically retreat here, so that they have to fight me within range of both of these towers. So red really seems to be winning here. Um, so I don't know what happens. So they have a new civic center. Um, I don't know why I didn't think I was beating green here because I beat both their attacks pretty easily. Um, yeah, I was convinced green was beating me. Uh, I think just because these towers were closed. Um, and, uh, yeah, probably wasn't even, I shouldn't have thought that. Um. I think this was part of it too, the, uh, when they reached the city phase, um, way ahead of me, that, uh, that kind of tricked me into thinking they were doing better than they were. Uh, but yeah, they don't even have that many guys. Um, you have yeah, to build, uh, I think they changed this in a recent update, but it's harder to reach the city phase because you need to build... I think it's like five structures of class town. Um, I find I normally do this forge and then two markets. And I often even build two markets that aren't that useful, like right next to each other, um, just to get to the city phase. Um, so I think these towers, unfortunately, don't count. Um, yeah, see, this is really annoying. If they get a tower near you, um, like this one caused me a lot of headaches, and until you have a battering ram, there's really nothing you can do about it. So if I'd seen this, I should have just attacked them right here um, and stopped this one from getting built, but it caused me huge problems because I couldn't rebuild the wall, and uh, he could just kind of walk right in here whenever he wanted to, and then my workers would get distracted and then run out and get shot by the tower. Um, so... Okay, so uh, yellow had a really successful attack against uh, red. Okay, so this is where yellow won. I do wonder how much my uh, the free resources I gave him helped. Um, okay, so at this stage, I think we had pretty much won it because he beat red. And um, I thought I was losing to green, but actually, um, besides the towers, green couldn't do much to me. But yeah, I started playing super defensive here. So like, I think I filled up, maybe not yet. I think it's later though, I, f I fill up these towers and then build a second uh, line of defense here. Okay, yeah. 
So red's uh, red's toast. Maybe preparing for another attack here. Yeah, this weirded me out too, because he built the civic center, like, just out of range of my towers. Um, and then I kind of got boxed in because, yeah, yellow starts building here, because uh, I guess he's beat red at this point. And so there's, like, no new place for me to expand to except, uh, except, like, back in this corner. Uh, but I was actually doing pretty well militarily, so I hadn't managed to get city phase, but I had a, a huge population at this point. Um, so yeah, there's no way he was going to get through all of my towers and army. Um, but yeah, this, this thing caused me headaches. Um, I think what I should have done, I should have just built the... So I built the forge... Oh, no, it's not the forge. Uh, so I should have just built the forge and the... Uh, the... Um, the markets early so I could get to city, city phase and then just knock these things out with battering rams. So I accidentally sent my enemy metal because I was trying to give it to uh, yellow. That was a mistake. Yeah, this this kind of I didn't like this because uh, his civic center is right here. So like I couldn't even build like a new wall here when it broke, and it was a whole issue. Uh, but yeah, so I wise up here and start building the uh, the forge. Yeah, there's like nowhere for me to build. Yeah. Um. I'm glad I didn't try to attack uh, without battering rams, though. I think that would have been one of the only ways I could have lost this. Yes, yeah, this is where I start on the second line of defense. Here's the market. Yes, the art in this um, in this game is great, but one of the things I don't like about the Gauls, which are this group, is all of the buildings look the same. So like I can't tell the market from the barracks, from the uh, stable, from the forge. Um, they're mostly interchangeable except for the way they look. And then, like, some these guys have war elephants, and there are a couple of other differences, um, but it's mostly just aesthetic. There are also a couple that aren't able to build new civic centers. I forget which ones, um, but I never play as them because I just find that impossible. Because you can't build anything where you don't have a civic center nearby, so it essentially means you just can't expand. Um, but maybe there's something I'm missing or don't understand about that. See, I thought I was doing poorly here, uh, but uh, between yellow having already won and uh, green not actually being that big, 
Um, I was fine. Yeah, this, these two caused me all sorts of disruptions. Uh, cause, like, I couldn't, these guys kept running off and getting killed, and... Red hasn't been like... Yeah, so it looks like he doesn't have the battering rams either. So he can't finish off Red. But, uh, Red just can't do anything. where I started building here. So I think pretty quickly I realized I need this, uh, this stone, um, cause now I have everything I need for city phase. Um, I also thought he was much stronger here, so I was like, preparing to fend off an attack, uh, from here, but, uh, besides these elephants, he doesn't have much of an army. So yeah, Yellow's helping me here too, just kinda distracting him. The, I, I believe the elephants are the equivalent of, uh, the battering rams. So I always target them. So I think overall, overall I did well. Um, I think the biggest mistake I made was being slow to build the city, because uh, I'm pretty much winning here, but like can't really uh, do any damage to him because I uh, I don't have the city and uh, can't build battering rams. Um, so right now I still just need the stone. Yeah, it's hard to prevent them from doing this. They'll just like do it automatically and then get themselves killed by the tower. I want to experiment yeah, more with um, with these things. I generally haven't used them, but you can do different formations for your troops. Um, I think I might need a faster computer because I often just, when the battles start, it starts lagging so it's like hard to click fast enough. But I do use these, so you can have them be aggressive, or you can have them stay in one place. So like, I think what I might have done here is you can select these guys and then have them be 
defensive here or something, so they won't like run off and attack a tower or something. So the plan was for this to be more of a naval uh, demonstration, but there was really no naval battles because I was mostly fighting green and then we never fought across the uh, the uh, water. But these, these ships can attack each other, um, they do more damage if they're crewed, and then you can also build these merchantman ships and they go b between different ports and then you profit resources from it. Um, so I think he's going between... I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's going between his port here and his port here. And I believe the further apart you are, the more you make from trading. Um, and you can also build fishermen who give you wood, uh, or uh, give you food. Okay, here we go. This is where I get the city phase going. I think I'm pretty close to max population at this point, too. Yeah, so I was still pretty worried about him attacking me here, so I built this fortress, um, and this is what's actually important, the, uh, the arsenal to build battering rams. Yellow's fighting the war elephants over here for me. Yeah, see? Okay, 
here we go. So I think I'm attacking with my uh, cavalry over here. Requested attack from yellow, which he helps out a little bit here. So I captured a civic center here, captured this tower.
I think that's pretty much the end. Thanks for watching.